Right now we're experiencing a homelessness crisis right across Great Britain. There are more than 300,000 homeless people in the UK, equivalent to one in every 200. Finland is one of the very few nations globally that through the last decade has seen a decrease in their number of homeless people. Since 2009, the UK has seen an 169% increase in rough sleeping, while Finland's statistics have gone down by 18% in the same amount of time. Since October last year, we've had an average of three people die every week on our streets. This is not a problem exclusive to the UK. All over Europe, homelessness is on the rise. Earlier this year, the government published their new Homelessness Reduction Plan, which has the goal of ending homelessness by 2027. One of the initiatives in the plan is to pilot the Housing First model, inspired by Finland. We believe that everyone deserves a home of their own, no matter where you come from or what your economical status is. The Nordic country is the only EU state not suffering from a housing crisis which is a result of Finland's Housing First initiative, which started in 2008. The Housing First model has become a starting point in combating homelessness. Life of the homeless has been humanized. In the Housing First model, home is seen as a right, not as a reward as it often is in other EU countries. The Finnish system is financed by public funds and Finnish slot machines. And the idea of Housing First is quite simple. When people are homeless, you give them housing first a home right away, instead of lots of paperwork and temporary accommodation. Housing First uses ordinary housing, such as private rental flats, and is designed to get the most vulnerable homeless people off the streets. If there is one thing the UK could learn from Finland, it is this. Everyone needs and deserves a home, and if we provide young people with one, it is much easier for them to start addressing other challenges in their lives. But what do you think? Is it possible to end homelessness in the UK? And are we